I look like I'm in this funnel of presents. <laughs> well, I am. Um, hi, hello. I have just gotten back from Andy's for the weekend for my birthday and I am feeling very overwhelmed. <laughs> I already had a stack of parcels, this pa this stack here and a couple of others that I've dotted around um, for my birthday from you lot, but I've come home and there are so many in the garage. I'm just going to do a quick overview now of a clip that I've just taken of what I've just come home to, but one of those parcels sat outside the back door um, was from me. In fact, both of those parcels sat outside the back door were from me. A pair of leggings and another book that I'm going to show you in a second because I am going to do a little bit of a general haul in a minute as well of what I've bought myself. Um, so yeah, <laughs> feeling very overwhelmed and incredibly loved. Thank you so much to every single person that wished me a happy birthday, that has sent me something. Nobody ever has to do that and I appreciate it more than you will ever know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am going to open what I'm aware is gifts first and then I'll come back to this stack here in a second that um, I'm I've bought myself um, and show you all of that. And then at the very end, I will show you what I got for my birthday off parents, parents in general. Well, yeah, parents in general, my parents, Andy's parents, uh, my brother and sister-in-law, Andy, and then friends as well. Um, so I will show you all of those in at the very end. Um, okay, if you hear any squeaking, it's not me, it's the chair. <laughs> I thought we were filming the kitchen today. Somebody made a really good point the other day that I'm always sat in the same position in the living room. So I thought we would come to the kitchen instead. Right, I'm gonna open this up just because I don't know what the hell it is. And I'm intrigued to find out. Um, I don't know if it's been bought by me. <laughs> the perks of ADHD is that I can't remember anything I've purchased myself. So a couple of the gifts that I got this weekend for my birthday, I picked myself or bought myself and then passed them on to friends or family to get me and uh, totally forgot until I opened them. And I was like, ha, huh. totally forgot I was getting those. Cute little happy birthday card. So I've not purchased this. Imagine if I had. Oh, it's from my um, my best friend, Laura, who I went to visit while I was in Ipswich the other week. Bless her heart. I wasn't expecting this at all. Oh, I love her. Okay, let's find out what she got me. I might as well unbox it while I'm here. Thanks, Lou, if you watch this. I don't think you do, but thank you. Oh, she got me this gorgeous candle. Cinnamon, clove and orange. Cute. It smells lush. Thanks so much, Lou, Beth. I absolutely adore you, you sweetheart. Um, so, that's adorable. Nice. Okay, let's get into some books, shall we? I'm going to open this one just because, uh, was it this one or this one? It was left outside and I don't know how long for and the packaging is just a little bit damp. Some of these I have already opened the thing. I stuck my hand in to see if there's a note because I've been ordering stuff myself that I've been wanting to get my hands on pretty quick. So um, some of them I have opened the thing up because the notes are so lovely. Oh, from Amanda and Mike. Happy birthday, Angel, from Amanda and Mike. There's two books in here. This is too much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they got me Peanuts, Jones, and The Illustrated City by Rob Biddulph. Cute, the hardback edition. I really liked the, um... oh my God, this is beautiful, beautifully illustrated. I really wanted the hardback edition of these because the covers are gorgeous. Um, so this is a middle grade. And then they also got me, why do they have to be so rough with the books? Like there's just no need. Okay, it's coming off. They also got me Cryptid Club by Sarah Anderson, uh, which is a graphic novel, I think. And it glows in the dark. How adorable is this? Oh, sleep paralysis demon. No, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Amanda and Mike, for these. I love them. This this little adorable. Obsessed. Uh, thank you very much, Amanda and Mike. I love you both to the moon and back. Um, both subscribers and patrons. Thank you so much. I'm, I've got no idea where to put these. I am overwhelmed. Uh, okay. 
Happy birthday, Stephanie. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and that all your hopes and dreams will come true. You're such a ray of sunshine and you deserve nothing but the best from Aileen. Thank you, Aileen, my love. Such a sweetheart. Okay, what do we have? I'm so excited. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> Ah, Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I've seen so many people reading this and absolutely loving it. And I know it's a series. So I'd really, I didn't want to put the second one on my wish list until I'd read the first one. But I've seen so many people loving and reading this one. It's a romance, I believe. Um, bearded bad boy, Barber Knox. Oh, I like the alliteration. First of his life, the way he takes his coffee alone. Naomi wasn't just running away from her wedding. Oh, there's an evil twin intrigued let me know if you've read that one uh, i do like to keep these let's put this over here so i don't throw it away um thank you so much aileen i do appreciate you and the present that was nice and easy so receipt just spotted what it was <laughs> excitement happy birthday steph i hope you have a wonderful day sending lots of love from tilly tilly if you're watching this thank you i love your whole heckin ton it's the heart stopper yearbook i have been um and iron about whether or not to get this one and then so many people have loved it so i'm like yeah let's go i might as well get the collection right and i say a word. thank you so much tilly for adding to that i really do appreciate it Okay, I've got no idea where to start. You can't see, but there is a massive stack right next to you. Let's go through these so I can get them out of the way of the camera. Okay, this is a wrapped one. Yes, I love it when they give you the envelope as well with the gift note. Ah, uh, it's Cece. To my wonderful friend, hope chapter 33 is amazing. Let me know if it's good from Cece. Oh, it feels like manga. <gasps> Witch Hat Talia Volume 3. I loved Witch Hat Talia Volume 1, so I added a whole bunch of them to my wish list. Um, so this is Volume 3, so I assume Volume 3 might, Volume 2 even, might be in here somewhere, potentially. I'm so excited to continue on with this one. This is all Jade's fault, so thanks Jade for that. <laughs> but thanks Cece for the gift. I really do appreciate it. You are an angel. Okay, this one... Tracy, happy birthday, Steph. I hope you had a good one and get totally spoiled. I did, from both friends, family, and you lot. So thank you so much. Oh, there's two in here. Hang on. Is there another note? Yes. Happy birthday, Steph. Hope you have an amazing day from Tracy. So I got the never, uh, the promised Neverland. I get that wrong every single time. The promised Neverland Volume Two, which when I went to Jade, she gave me Volume One to try out, and I was intrigued enough to want to continue. And then she also got me Still Beating as well by Jennifer Hartman, which I read earlier on this year and is my favourite book of the year so far. So I'm so excited to have a physical copy of it to put on my shelves because I'm definitely going to be rereading this one. It's absolutely fantastic. Would recommend very 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 dark romance though look out for triggers tracy thank you so much um i really do appreciate it can does that no <laughs> thought, it, thought it opened uh okay next one i just spotted that there was a box in here from emily happy birthday hope you have a wonderful day filled with love and cake from emily uh happy birthday my lovely hope you have a fabulous day thanks em Ooh, yay. Okay, so we have Affirmator's Tarot, uh, which is the, it's one of the tarot decks that Jade's had for ages, and um, I really love it. So I really wanted to get a set. I'm fairly certain she's got this one. Anyway, uh, so I really wanted to get it. It's got like animals on it and stuff and like mermaids and things like that. On the back, it's got like pictures of examples and things like that. So is that, hello, there we go. <laughs> Uh, so I did get that and then also Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead which is the second one in the Finley Donovan series. I haven't read the first one yet but I'm fairly certain that I'm going to love it so I wanted to get the second one. Uh, I think the third one, has it come out already or it's on its way out soon? Uh, I do want to catch up though because I'm fairly certain that these are going to be part of uh, Kayla's book club next year or something the third one she's going to be reading it she doesn't normally read series but I'm fairly certain she said she's going to be reading the third one so yay for that so I would like to catch up I do think it's going to be one of those series that once I start I'm going to want to just binge as well so 
Uh, wishing you the happiest of birthdays, Steph. May it, be, may it be full of fun and love and laughs. This book sounds like a lot of spooky fun and it keeps catching my eye. So I had to send it to, along to you. Ooh, I, I'm obsessed with this cover. Listen, I am obsessed with this cover. I've got no idea where I heard this from. I cannot remember for the life of me. Possibly Gabby, but I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a novella. It's a horror novella about a hotel, I think. Um, and a YouTube ghost gang. Nice. Um, so I am here for this. Just over 200, oh, 240 odd pages. Uh, so I'm here for this. I'm really wanting to get into more horror and especially horror novellas. I really enjoy them. So thank you so much for Deb. I, thank you so much to Deb for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm struggling with my words a lot today. <laughs> I think overwhelmed and tired from the weekend is a very good way to explain how I'm feeling. This is a chunky book um, today. <laughs> Struggles. <laughs> oh, it's with Kitty. Happy birthday, Steph, from Kitty. What do we have? Ooh, okay. This is The Darkness Outside Us by Elliot Schreifer. I think um, I've heard great things about this one. I'm not reading a great deal of YA at the moment, but it's YA sci-fi and I love sci-fi and I've heard good things. And I believe it's queer as well. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I've heard incredible things and I'm totally here for it. So yay for this one. Thank you so much, uh, Kitty, for sending this one over to me. Nice blue color underneath, purple, blue, purple struggles thanks kitty i really do appreciate it i've got absolutely no idea where these are gonna go <laughs> not a oh it's uh it's wrapped not a scooby-doo oopsie just knocked myself out classy another one from cc what an angel thanks cc you do the most all the time Oh, it feels like more manga. Cece here. Topping up my manga for me. Ah, oh, it's Witch Hat Italia 4. <laughs> Cece, what did you do? I please don't tell me she bought all the Witch Hat Italia on my, on my wish list. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. I'm so excited to continue on with this series. It's very wholesome. I like it a lot. Thanks, Cece. You are a gem. Okay, what's in here? It's more manga, I think. <gasps> Sandra. This is a really weird one, but I liked it. Happy birthday. Love you from Sandra. I love you too. Sweetheart. Ooh, Happiness Volume 1 by Shuzo Oshimi. Um, she said it's a weird one. And I think this is like a horror vampire one, potentially. And I'm really excited about it. So... Yay for that. Thanks, Sandra, you gem. Um, I love you a lot. I, I, this manga collection is growing and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> okay, who is this one from? Because there's no other note with it. Let's have a butchers. Aslau, happy birthday, my lovely. I hope your day is amazing from Aslau. Thank you, Aslau. You gem. I'm so happy, but I'm so overwhelmed. <gasps> Killers of a Certain Age by Dina Rayborn. I've heard such good things about this. It's like a thriller and I've heard incredible things. Older women often feel invisible, but it's sometimes that's their secret weapon. Oh yeah, they've spent their lives as deadliest assassins in a Cladstein international organisation, but now that they're 60 years old, four female friends just can't, can't just retire. It's kill or be killed in this action-packed thriller by New York Times bestselling and Ed Edgar Award-nominated author. I'm so excited about this. It sounds fantastic. Oh, and it's one of those really good um, hardbacks that lays flat as well. Thank you so much, Aslau, for that. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, my love. I really do appreciate that. That can go on there, that can go on there. Okay, let's continue. Oh, this is the damp one. I lied. Found it. Oh, thank God. I was really worried the book was going to be wet through. <laughs> but now it is. Amber. <laughs> Struggled. 
happy birthday Steph I hope you enjoy the book from Amber Day thanks Amber you sweetheart oh it is a little bit damp fucking hell <gasps> ooh okay I don't was this on my team was this on my wish list I hate that it's damp oh okay listen I am all for this I don't I can't remember if this was on my wish list or not but this is Dishing Up Love by KD Robbie Shao I don't know how you would pronounce that my apologies um ingredients one hot chef one beautiful woman one chance encounter mix and dish up some love yes please this looks like it's uh it's a, like a novella as well uh 243 pages but also look i'm obsessed <laughs> i am a very visual person so anything like that i love uh just a little bit annoyed with the postie for how damp this is it was left outside amber thank you so much i am gonna have to message her and find out if this was on my wish list because i cannot remember seeing that on my wish list before but if it's not that was such a good shout she knows me that girl knows me thanks amber i love you oh this is wrapped too look at y'all going all out thank you so much <laughs> struggling to get in though okay how many oh it's not which heart talia <gasps> oh christmas in mistletoe by claire Lydon. nice i think this is queer what if you hate christmas but get stranded in mistletoe Best-selling author Claire Lydon brings you a festive story to pep up your year. It's set in a twinkly village with a cast of laugh-out-loud characters. If you love Hallmark Christmas movies but have been longing for one with two female leads, it's time to get swept up in this Christmas cracker of a romance. What a pun. Yes. Nice. Only 300 pages as well. Listen, I like me a good shortish story. Thank you so much, Cece. She knows how much I love Christmas <laughs> romance. Thanks, Cece Elf. This is wrapped. What are we saying? Is it someone else? <laughs> sure, that's how close I am to my new plant, which I'll tell you all about in a minute. Okay. If you put your bets on Cece, you were correct. Happy birthday, Queen. Love you tons. Are we hedging our bets on which hat or what? It's a mango. Oh! Did not see that coming in the slightest barbarian alien by ruby dixon this is book two in the ice planet barbarian series i have already bought book three because it was really hard to get a hold of elsewhere so i bought it myself but added book two onto my wish list because it was trash but i enjoyed it so you know i'm here for reading more we read ice planet barbarians for literature book club a couple of months ago october uh, for spooky season so um and i gave it four stars so I will be continuing with the series, as it would seem. <laughs> they didn't have three in stock, so here's five instead from Jess Burns. What is this? Oh, The Promised Neverland, volume five. I may have to locate volume three myself. I can't remember what I have now. Oh, there's volume two. Yeah, I may have to locate volume three myself, which is absolutely five. Five? Fine. It's because I'm looking at the book. Thank you so much, Jess. I love you. Thank you for adding to my manga collection, you gem. We still have quite a few to go, team. You can't see how many there is behind you, but there's quite a few to go. Also, Tilly. Tilly. Happy birthday, Steph. I hope you have a wonderful day. Sending lots of love from Tilly. I love you, you gem. Ooh, she got me the Ghost Reaper Girl, volume one, which uh, I've got absolutely no idea what this is about, to be honest. But is this manga? I'm confused. Is this not manga? Is it just like a graphic novel or a comic? interesting i'm gonna have to make sure i read this oh yeah okay <laughs> just open it up you are reading this the wrong way okay sorry 
Uh, thank you so much, Tilly, for this one. I am very excited about that. Intrigued more so now as well that it's not actually manga. It's more like graphic novel slash comic format. I don't know. Let me know if you know what's going on there because I've got no idea. But thanks, Tilly. <gasps> Alicia. Happy birthday, Steph. I hope you have the best day. Love you lots, Alicia. I love you too, Angel. <gasps> Yes, A Lady of Rooksgrave Manor by Catherine Moon. I really wanted a physical copy of this one. We're reading this for the uh, Literature Book Club next year in, I think it's no, uh, January, November. No, it isn't. Uh, I've not got that far yet. Uh, I think it's January and I'm really excited to read this one because I've seen this. I meant to read it like last year for a readathon and just didn't get round to it but i'm really excited to have it now so thank you so much alicia for stocking me up with my own book club reads i really appreciate it i love you a lot oh no what happened here I know this happens to Jade all the time, but it's never happened to me yet. It's from Ratbag as well. Merry Christmas, Betch. Oh, very Merry Birthmas. Confusion, Ratbag. Merry Birthmas, Betch. So now I have two copies of The Lady of Rook's Grave Manor. I'm going to have to get in contact with uh, both Ratbag and Alicia and try and sort that out. But thanks, Ratbag. I love you a whole heck in ton. Oh. We're struggling here. Oh, there we go. Should have brought my blue bin into the garden so I can put all this straight in the bin. Happy, happy birthday, my angel. I'm so incredibly lucky to call someone as beautiful and caring as you, my friend. I hope you have the most amazing day and get spoiled. Rotten on PS, this book looks so cute. From Caitlin, aka Chaos, my chaos queen. I love her. In the Winter Woods by Isabel Adler. I added this to my wish list. This is stunning. I, I think I saw this on an Instagram post and the cover of this just caught my eye immediately. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, 270 odd pages. I think it's a grumpy sunshine. One of them hates Christmas. The other one doesn't. There's some anonymous letters. I am here for it. I don't know what else is going on, but I'm excited to give it a read. Um, so the text in here is huge as well. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for this one. I love you a whole heckin' ton. You're an absolute gem. Thank you. Happy birthday, lovely. Thank you so much for your wonderful community. I am so super grateful to have you and your bookish group at my back. Wishing you the best birthday. Enjoy the book from Holly. Thank you, Holly, so much. You are a gem. Oh, Everything is Okay by Debbie Tung. I've been collecting Debbie's graphic novels for a while now and I absolutely love them. And I didn't realize she had a new one out. So thank you so much, Holly, for adding this one to my shelves. I really appreciate it. You are a gem. This stack is getting precariously large. <laughs> Megan, leave it. Enjoy your gift from Megan. Thank you so much, Megan. It is Ghost Reaper Girl volume two. Thank you so much, Megan. I really do appreciate it. Again, not a manga, apparently. Will it shout at me in the back of the book again? Yes. Yes, it does. Nice. Makes my heart a little bit happy, actually. <laughs> love you so much bestie cannot wait for you to continue the series from jess thanks jess the promised neverland volume four thank you so much jess for continuing to add to my collection she was so happy she was devastated when she found out i gave volume one a three star but she was really happy to hear that i am intrigued to continue on with the series so thanks jess i love you okay well, this is one two three four five left and then i want to show you what i've bought because <laughs> apparently this isn't enough it's wrapped up how much are we betting put your bets on <gasps> you'd be wrong <laughs> happy birthday you deserve all the best and i hope you have a great day and enjoy your books from megan lever thank you so much megan i love today <laughs> just loved the weekend <laughs> had such a nice birthday Ooh. oh 
Anya's Ghost. I've been wanting to read this for ages. I've heard such good things about this one. Um, so thank you so much, Megan, for adding this to my TBR. I am so happy at how many like graphic novels and mangas are being added to my TBR because I love a good graphic novel and manga. And the short stories, I'm just really happy about everything. I'm very overwhelmed. <laughs> feel very, very fortunate and very lucky. Happy birthday, Steph. This sounds right up my street. Let's hope it's a good one. Hope you have the best day from Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. <gasps> yes. I've been so excited to try this one. Love in the time of serial killers. This has got like a podcast element to it, I think, as well. And I freaking love a book with a podcast element. One woman is going to have to learn how to give love a chance when she's used to suspecting the worst in this fresh romantic comedy. Or maybe there isn't a podcast. Oh, PhD candidate Phoebe Walsh has always been obsessed with true crime. There we go. She's doing the dissertation on it. Sam Dennings is a serial killer. Yes. <laughs> Sign me up. Thank you so much, Sophie, for this one. I really do appreciate it. Also, I don't know if anyone's going to hate this, but this cover is beautiful. It's matte. I'm obsessed. Thank you. Where is the opening? How'd you get in? Oh, there we go. Struggles. I just saw what this is and I'm really fucking excited about it. Um, happy birthday, Steph. This is one of my favourite mangas, so I had to pick it up for you when I saw it was on your wish list. Hope you enjoy when you get around to it from Claire. It's Fruits Baskets Volume 1, the special edition collection, the collector's edition. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I've been wanting to try Fruit Baskets for so long. And every time I go on Waterstones, it doesn't matter what Waterstones it is, whether it's in Manchester, Ipswich, Wigan, Bolton, it doesn't matter which one, they never have it. <laughs> They had volumes two and three in the Ipswich one the other week when I went to Jade's, but not volume one. And I was like, do I get the other two just in case? Um, and I ended up leaving it. I do want to try it first and find out whether or not I like it. But thank you so much, Claire, for adding this one to my wish list, to my TBR. Even I added it to my wish list. You added it to my TBR. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Right, last two. This is going to be such a long video. <laughs> okay, who is this from? Cece. <laughs> All the notes inside, winner. It is Witch Hat Italia Volume 2. Thank you so much, Cece, for continuing to add to my Witch Hat Italia. Hope you have an amazing birthday and you are spoiled rotten. I have been indeed. I have, I have, I have. Uh, last gift. We got, we got here. We made it. We made it, guys. I've got so much rubbish to clean up. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steph. I hope you have an amazing day. This sounded really good and you can't beat some true crime. Lots of love from Claire. Ooh, true crime. Yes. Ooh, yeah, true crime story by Joseph Knox. I saw meg reading this one and she i think it was meg reading this one and she really enjoyed it she gave it five stars and i'm so intrigued by it i thought it was like a uh like a memoir or something uh but it's not it's a true crime story basically told in very different like several different formats i think like interviews and things like that so i'm really excited i'm going to try the audiobook along with it this book is very floppy but thank you claire for sending me this one i really do appreciate it my battery is flashing <laughs> absolutely nobody's surprised by that fact uh thank you so so much for all of these there is like a whole section down here as well that you can't see thank you so so much i am so incredibly overwhelmed feeling incredibly lucky and very very fortunate thank you so so much i appreciate every single one of you all of you that have thanked me uh, thanked me wished me a happy birthday on twitter or instagram or wherever in my discord wherever you have thank you i appreciate you more than you will ever know um I'm very overwhelmed. Thank you very much. I'm going to go and change the battery and then I'll come back and show you everything that I got from my family and um, all of this lot that there is to be unboxed down here as well. 
Okay, I'm back. Battery changed, knife required. Let's go through some books that I've purchased for myself, shall we? Okay, this one is a manga set of A Silent Voice. It's volumes one through till seven. I did already purchase volume one and I read it the other day and immediately needed volume two and then added up how much it would be to buy these individually in which some of them are very difficult to get hold of. Uh, so I decided to buy the box set instead. This is following two characters, boy and a girl. Uh, she is deaf and he terrorizes her so badly at school that she ends up leaving and uh, he kind of doesn't amount to a great deal and then right at the very end they see each other again several years later and i think he's going to try and make amends for what he's done so i'm intrigued to continue on with this series uh, so i'm very excited that i treated myself to that and then from forbidden planet have i ordered these they're wrapped up oh yeah i have Sorry, plant. Okay, so from Forbidden Planet, I did get two horrors. I got Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. I know that this was part of Gabby's book club this year, and um, I believe that she enjoyed it. I went back to go and check whether or not she did enjoy it. Uh, so I believe that she did, and um, I know nothing about it. <laughs> It's a horror and it sounds really good. A haunting and vividly suspenseful page turner from the literary descendant of Shirley Jackson. Nice. The Children on the Hill takes us on a breathless journey to face the primal fear that lurks within us all. It follows two different timelines, 1978 and 2019. So, oh, it was a podcast. Yeah, boy, I remember there was a reason why I was uh, very, very keen for this one. So I'm very excited about it. I'm so excited that it's floppy as well. Really wanted to try and get it in hardback, but it was so expensive. So uh, I got it from Forbidden Planet in paperback. And then I also got Loot by Jennifer Thorne. Lute? Loot? Don't know. Um, riveting, atmospheric and haunting, loot feels like a dart, mesmerising spell. I promise you, once you begin this taunting, unrelenting stunner, you won't be able to put it down. Uh, nice. On the idyllic island of loot, every seventh summer, seven people die, no more, no less. Yas. Excitement. It's not that long either. Oh, under 300 pages. 271 pages. Nice. Cute. So, yeah, I did get this one as well. I assume loot. Cute loot. Let me know if I'm wrong, please. Uh, and then some that I did purchase that I've already opened. I did get uh, Junji Ito's... Which way around does this go? Black Paradox. <laughs> Just total brain fart. Uh, yeah, I did get Junji Ito's um, Black Paradox. I have read from Junji Ito before. Uh, not a huge fan of the, like spirals and stuff but i don't know if this is going to go into that too much so we'll, we'll see i did want to try something from them again so i picked up this one it is shorter than the others that i've read i read the frankenstein one and it was good but the spirals did bother me uh, and then i got juju so kaizen volume one i saw that katarina was reading this one and she really enjoyed it and i know that jody's got it as well i can't remember if jody's read it yet or not but um, it sounds good. I did get it second hand and it's a little bit, it's a little bit knackered, but um, I got it off eBay because it wasn't available elsewhere. But I'm excited to give it a go. Uh, I did get Alice in Borderland as well by Haro Asso, volume one. Uh, this is like a game type thing. Um, 18 year old Ryo He Arisu is sick of his life. Uh, and then he ends up in, he's stuck in a game, I think, uh, and it's going to be very brutal. I think, maybe, we will see. The cover is beautiful, though. I did get Assassination Classroom Volume 1 also. Uh, this one is about trying to assassinate the teacher, <laughs> maybe, I think. Um, so, interesting one for that one. I got Dick Fight Island. I can't remember if I've already said this in a vlog somewhere, but I did get Dick Fight Island. <laughs> 
entirely inspired by Gavin. Nobody is surprised in the slightest. I got Famine and also Death by Laura Thalassa, which is book three and four in the Four Horsemen trilogy. Uh, quadri quad quad trilogy. Quartet. Don't even with me. I I annoy myself, honestly. Uh, Famine and Death. Very excited to continue on with these ones. We'll be reading this one this month in December. I'm reading this one in January for Becca's Patreon book club. Uh, I did treat myself to A Magical New York Christmas by Anita Hughes. I've had my eye on this book for years now and just not bought it because it's like a smaller, you know, one. Um, and they irritate the life out of me, I'm not going to lie. Um, so it is what it is. I love New York City. I love Christmas. Who doesn't want a magical New York Christmas? Because I freaking do. Uh, so it sounds fantastic. And I thought I would purchase that one. And then I also had to repurchase a hardback of Burning God by RF Kwong because the one that I originally purchased got left outside in the rain for days. So when will my delivery men realize that I don't, I'm not always here. <laughs> I can be away for days at a time. For example, it's Monday. I just got back from Andy's from Friday. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I got myself another hardback copy of this one because they destroyed my last one. So that's gone to charity shop because someone will make use of it somewhere. Um, so that's all of the books either I've purchased or you lot have purchased. So thank you again so much. Um, so let's now go through my gifts. I want to find the gift from my parents first. Let's do this one first from my parents. It's, it's not ridiculously excited, I'm not going to lie. My dentist is going to be really happy with me. I didn't properly open it yesterday because we were in a restaurant and I felt a bit weird about getting a toothbrush out in the restaurant. <laughs> When, listen, when you get to my age, you don't, you end up buying things you need more than things you want, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, I did get a, I, honestly, this was one of the presents that I forgot about and I purchased it literally a week ago. Um, I did get a, an electric toothbrush from my parents um, on the Black Friday sale and then my mum got me this cute little daily messages for my daughter thing. You can flip it open and it's got cute little messages like, how could I ever anticipate the joy you have given me? In you my life begins again, etc. Which is really cute. I'm into that stuff of shit and so is my mum. So, <laughs> ta mama for that. Uh, so that's from my parents. Um, and then from... My brother and sister-in-law and my nephew, I did get, continuing on, my dentist is going to be real freaking happy with me. I got a water flosser. <laughs> my friend Chloe recommended it because I struggle with flossing. My teeth are quite close together and I just struggle with flossing a lot. So she said, try a water flosser. Uh, Jurassic World Trilogy, the new one, not the original. I do love the original and if I can get hold of a copy of that as well, like a trilogy set of that, I will do uh, but I love the new one as well with Chris Pratt so this is another one that I purchased myself in Asda while I was there and Tara was like will you just get it and then I'll give you the money back and I forgot when I opened it um, and then she got me also some Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner stuff um, and there's a whole bunch of cards in here as well uh, plus a Christmas card for me and Andy from my friend um, and then Matt also got me a toy car a Hot Wheels one replica of my car that Thomas insisted on playing with last night at tea. I'm lucky I got it back, to be perfectly honest, but it's absolutely adorable and I'm obsessed with it. So thanks, bro, for that one. Um, we do love the meaningful little stuff. He said, from now on, this is going to be tradition. Every time you get a new car, I'm going to get you a Hot Wheels car to remind you of apparently what my car looks like. Um, but I had it in my pocket all night last night watching the England game and I was like, what the hell is this with wheels in my pocket? It was my car. <laughs> Um, and then from Andy, oh, rubbish, from Andy, I have my giant balloon. This is the biggest balloon I think I've ever seen, um, other than like, you know, the numbers balloons, which I usually buy for myself. I love balloons. Listen, if you're ever struggling with what to get me, balloons are always a whim. And then he got me a new plant. He doesn't, 
listen, he doesn't do flowers, so <laughs> he thinks they're a waste of time. Uh, understandable but i like flowers but um i love plants too as you can see this guy was in the window uh for the longest time he's gotten too big for the window so i've put him here now but i'm gonna have to move him and find him somewhere else to live because this plant's gonna go there uh but this is my new plant i don't know what plant it is let's have a quick butchers uh calathea wave star nice and it comes in this gorgeous little pot i've been eyeing it up in sainsbury's but <laughs> I've been eyeing it up in Sainsbury's for a couple of weeks and I ummed and ahed and ummed and ahed and I didn't get one uh, for absolutely no specific reason. Uh, I just didn't pick one up. I think I just kept forgetting, to be honest, which sounds about right. So I left it and then he mooched out to go and get it the other day. So cheers, babe. Um, and then he also got me an incense thing, which we tried out yesterday and was very very good he was like it says that it can help with sleeping and with anxiety and things like that so he said i was like i just wanted to try it out and i was like okay cool uh he also got me a new pandora ring a new thumb ring for me uh because i was wanting new i wanted one to go on top of these i broke my last ring that was a stack on here but they don't have it anymore and i couldn't find one i liked so he got me this one um which i love it's adorable he got me a new pair of converse these bad boys i had them on yesterday for my meal and i love them picked them myself completely forgot he was like yeah these are the ones you picked i was like are they and he was like yeah i thought i just got the normal black and white ones apparently not um so i'm really happy with them because i love the black laces on them also some of these for the incense thing and then a national book token for 20 quid as well so i can go book shopping because he knows my habits and then he got me this gorgeous massive cake as well which um i will show you a clip of yes there is a chunk taken out of it because he wanted some last night just couldn't wait for me to take a video so um beautiful beautiful cake it's got like my branding on it and everything the attention to detail is fantastic uh him and his mum paid for it and tara sorted out picking it up and everything they sung happy birthday to me in the restaurant and uh it was beautiful and i was really really happy with me with it so he completely spoiled me um and i'm very very lucky and then for my friends andy's flatmate and his girlfriend chloe who um i have known pretty much all her life <laughs> they got me a bottle of peach nuts and also a box of chocolates because they know me very very well love me some peach nuts and chocolate um so yay for that i'm not gonna put that on the edge of there because i will knock it off and i'll be devastated and then andy's mum obviously she paid for half the cake she got me my udi weeks ago and let me have it early and then she also got me some other little treats as well because she does the most um so i got a bag of celebrations a cute little me to you bear that says happy birthday and then some sleep apothecary stuff which sounds fantastic you just spray it around the room a little bit and it helps you sleep she knows that i struggle to sleep and then some dis diffuser gift sets as well so calm apothecary sleep apothecary and meditate apothecary um, and i'm here for it they sound fantastic so um i'm really looking forward to using some of those so thank you helen for those and john as well and his stepdad uh, so yeah, I was absolutely spoiled rotten and I'm feeling very overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. It's been a fantastic weekend. I am absolutely shattered. We went out Friday night, um, stayed in Saturday night and then went out last night. So it's been amazing. If you want to know more about my weekend though, I have done a vlog. I will be doing a vlog. It will go up at some point this week. Um, but yeah, I've had a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much to everybody that reached out. Thank you to everybody that sent me something. Nobody ever has to do that and I appreciate it more than you will ever know. Just makes it a little bit extra special for my birthday. So I really appreciate it because getting older, you know, your birthdays are not the same. They don't feel like birthdays as much anymore. Um, this birthday has been one of the most special birthdays I've ever had. Uh, my 30th was amazing a few years ago, but it was like just before COVID. And then it's just been really weird for the last couple of years. So um it's been so good my family and andy have made it super extra special and then this to come home to all of this 
has been amazing so thank you so so much i am eternally grateful i have no idea how long this video is going to be so i do apologize but thank you so much um and thanks as always for your continued support i appreciate it more than you will ever know i hope you have enjoyed this unboxing chat to me in the comments down below have you read any of these do you have recommendations for me based off of these especially for manga because i'm always on the lookout for new manga um and yeah Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.